And we are back. Let's keep being dogs. Getting internet. This is a perfect use of our time. As... As... Zone. The rock thing. There's some text carved onto it. It says park. Okay. Let's go down here. That's pretty. This is the observatory. If you look down through the glass, you watch over your loved ones going about their lives. That's amazing. Can you really see with the fur over your eyes like that, though? Of course. The fur does keep poking me in the eyes, though. Then get a haircut. Sure. It's Master! Thank goodness, she doesn't appear to be hurt at all. She's standing in grass in front of some rectangular rocks in the ground with flowers. Oh no! Don't cry! You dumb Shibe, she can't hear you. Please stop crying! I miss you too! You idiot. I already said she can't hear you. Master! Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Sheesh, Paul. Have some respect. Or not respect. Respect for Shibe and your owner. Okay, uh. It's dangerous in there. You can't go in. Why is it dangerous? This line to the park is moving a lot more slowly than usual. To be more precise, it's moving so slowly that it's not moving at all. Do you mind moving aside a little? We're trying to cross that bridge behind you. No can do. We've been in this line for an awful long time now, and it'd be simply terrible if we lost our place. Here, you can have these old Baron's SAT books as our apology. Wait, we don't want these. Alma, isn't the weather today splendid? Not a cloud in the sky as usual. This counting the one we're standing on, of course. They're ignoring you. They just unloaded a bunch of crap they don't want on us. Well, what the heck? Got SAT books. No, what you do is that you gotta stack, gotta stack crap on this rock. But I forgot how to trigger the event where they're like, hey, we should stack crap on the rock. Hey. I can't wait to go to the park. I'm going to train hard and become stronger. Good luck with that. I know. What the heck? What the heck? Now we're going to do the event thing. I'm going to save. All of them. Yeah, I totally forgot how to get them to be like, well, we can get in the park. The second crap. We'll have to do something about this line if we want to pass. Why is life so suck? Maybe if we could get into the park, we could figure out why they're not letting anyone in. Sherman is blocking the entrance, though. Let's kill him. That's not the answer! <laughs> I love that. Oh, here we go. What is it, you dumb Shibe? What if we use this rock thing as a leverage to climb over the fence? Then we could get into the park and see what the problem in there is. The fence looks too high up to climb. Even standing on top of the rock, though. It would be great if they made this rock taller. That's it! We should make it taller! Question mark, question mark, question mark. We have these books, right? See? If we stack them on the rock, it's a little taller. Still not tall enough, though. Yeah, looks like I'll just get more stuff to stack on it. Oh, I'm stuck, everyone. Shut up, Sherman. Do you have things? A giant potted gek is painful. How do you just happen to have something like that with you? And it's so spiky. That's okay. Hand it over. Palm! Please. You're strangers, though. How do I know if I can trust you two with it? Doesn't the fact that we're in heaven prove that we're good dogs? There's no such thing as a bad dog, only bad or owners and bad upbringings. So every dog ends up here regardless of whether they turn out to be trustworthy or not. How do we get you to trust us then? How about you run an errand for me? 
You know, Poppy, she owes me a few dog treats. Can you ask her for them for me? We'll do our best. Okay, fetch quest time. Have anything we might be able to borrow? No, I'm sorry. You don't need to apologize. Okay, uh, I don't think the observatory dog has anything. Uh, if I remember correctly, you can go in here for something. Help! I'm trapped! You okay? Don't you see? There's a spider over there! That black speck? It's tiny! Normally, Puddle takes care of the spiders, but she's not home. Why don't you just kill it with a tissue? What if I try to get it? It dodges! And it crawls onto my paw! Well, come on. What's going to happen if, if it crawls on you? I'll die! That's impossible. Whatever. Meh. Meh. Greetings, spider. Today you'll meet your doom. Can't we just coax it outside? There's no real need to kill it. No! Then it might make more spiders! You have to kill it! <laughs> it has been slain. Thank you, thank you, thank you! You don't have to shout. Huh? What's all this commotion? These two just saved my life. Not really. I should be thanking you then. Here, have this for saving Crest's life. We got a large inflatable old dolphin. Thanks, I guess. I don't know. They love dolphins, but like, why are they large and inflatable? Why is this one large and inflatable? I don't understand. Hey, Mr. Dog. Hey, hey. Do you have anything you might be able to borrow? That you can borrow, huh? Nope, sorry. What was with that unnecessarily long pause? You made us wait for nothing. Hey, do you have a thing? Do you have anything we can borrow? Sorry, I can't lend any of that pile over there. That stuff is important. Important my ass. I see soda cans in there. Looks like a pile of junk. Oh, that's all stuff I scavenged from trash. Some really valuable things in there, you know. Uh, I can't steal anything. Ooh. Wait, that doesn't... That probably brings up some questions about my moral character. Hand over the dog treats! A daylight robbery? No, no, we're here on Goldie's behalf. She sent us here to retrieve the dog treats you owe her. Oh, about that. I already ate them. <laughs> Period of blood microwave! Okay, that's the best. <laughs> Take a minute and appreciate that. <laughs> Period blood microwave. That's that's amazing. What do we do now? How about you give her this instead? We got a Famicom. I guess we'll have to take this back to Goldie and explain what happened. Oh well. We got a Famicom. Now we can go play. Mother, be Nintendo, kill things, and die a lot because it's hard. <laughs> hey, Goldie, you're back. Where are the treats? About that. Poppy told us she'd eaten them all. She gave us this thing instead. We gave Goldie the Famicom. <laughs> it's not our fault, honest to dog. Pasukete, please give us the giant cactus. Calm down. I was testing you two, and you passed with flying colors. We did? Knowing Poppy, it would have been strange if you really did come back to dog treats. But what kind of test is that? There's no way we could have. No, of course not. The test was about whether you'd come back to me with a Famicom. Eh? I can see you two stacking stuff on that rock thing over there, you know. That's why you wanted my potted cactus, correct? That's right. But why didn't you just use a Famicom? 
the bottom is pretty flat and way better for stacking it than a cactus is. I didn't even think about using it. You were so determined to make me trust you that you were totally distracted from your original goal. Honestly, that's kind of adorable. I'll stack at you. Here, you can have the Famicom. We got Famicom. Now that I think about it, you would have ended up with the Famicom either way. So this method has the extra bonus of me trusting you. I like to think that counts for something. It does. Thanks. Awesome. Well, let's save real quick. Uh, this episode was basically like one giant fetch quest, so I'm gonna extend it a bit. Because I can. And also because the next part's really hilarious. Okay. Alright, let's... You two over there! What do you think you're doing? Yeah. Fuck the popo! Can't tell me what to do! Z-snap! Stop! Adios, bitches! <laughs> that was a friend base. Okay. Mm, ramming speed! I did! Reach end! Succeed! Watch out for that frisbee! Fuck! <laughs> this is the only proper sound to make. Hey, wake up, you two. Whoa. So you finally regained consciousness. <laughs> what are you two doing here? Sherman sent me to go after you when you climbed over the fence. When I found you, you were both lying there, knocked out by the frisbees. We're here to try to fix the, ma the frisbee machine. Is that so? He's going to eat us! Run! I'm not going to hurt you! Not gonna lie, at first I thought you two were up to no good. But seems like you're actually trying to help. Why don't we work together? I'm Hus. We can already see that from your name being displayed when you talk. But what if? I'm Palm. And this shitty ass excuse for a manservant over here is Sebastian. It's Shibe! And who are you calling a manservant? Nice to meet you. Y you too. Yeah, we have a party member. Go in here. Looks like an opening into the machine. If I remember correctly, there should be a control panel in here that'll reset it. I'm way too big to fit inside, though. Me too. I can fit. This hole looks like it was made for me. Oh god, no. And I guess Huss and I are going to be left by ourselves out here. <coughs> Merry Christmas! Ho <laughs> ho almost. What the heck are you saying? Look at the time! Is Yahweh o'clock? What's she talking about? She... Never mind, it's nothing. Tom, you're drooling a little. <laughs> well, who can blame me? Just leave already! <laughs> Yahweh o'clock. This is where the frisbees are coming from. So fast. Sonic would be jealous. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Got places to go, gotta follow me, rainbow. Follow me, set me free. Trust me and we will escape from the city. <laughs> I love this song. It's the dust bunny. It's more like a dust turd. Speaking of turd, don't you think Shifei's tail is shaped like a, a lot like one? Achoo! Bless me. Holy Shitsu. This dust is so old that it's solidified. It's not small enough to worm my way through. There's a control panel looking thingy over there. Guess there's nothing to do but turn back for now. Durr. 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 Oh god, no. Why are you making weird noises? I was trying to scare you. You always scare me. Well, I'm all gross and dusty now. Don't wipe your filthy paws on me! So, did you find anything? There was a control panel in there, but I couldn't reach it. It would take a hella tiny dog to fit in there. Hmm, let's try to find a dog who fits the bill then. But we can't climb out of the park the way we came in. 
How are we getting out of here? Through the front door, of course. Sherman will let you guys through once he sees that you're with me. Oh, yeah. I forgot you were on such good terms with everyone here. You will be, too, soon enough. Alright, and... Go! Made it. Hell dear. Let's go this way. It's you two troublemakers from earlier. Yeah, we rebels. Wanna join our gang? We're a gang now? Hey, Huss, you're with them? Yep, we're helping each other out a bit. So even these delinquents are good for something, huh? Alright, come on through then. And I'm going to go save. Sebastian. Huss. Sebastian. Huss. Jin. I'm done with you. Bye. Are you an old man? Did you already forget that we're looking for the smallest dog? That's Luigi. If you need it spelled out for you. Wasn't it your idea to go this way in the first place? Oh, you know what? I guess it won't let me save until I find Chi. So you know what? I'm gonna go find Chi. That's right. You'll get this episode extended. Hey, Chi, we need to borrow you for a minute. I'm sorry, Huss. I'd love to help you out, but I can't lose my place in line. You've got to be shitting me. You don't help us out, then you're going to be in line forever. Gee, how about I hold your place in line while you're helping them? Oh, good idea. Okay, I swear. My voice. I can't talk this much. I don't normally talk this much. Haha. <laughs> Go through the hole. It was made for you. We did. Everything is happening so much. Chi, all you have to do is through this opening until you reach a control panel. I think you're missing a verb there, Shibe. You should be able to reset the frisbee machine from there. We're counting on you. Alright, here goes nothing. I think I fixed it. The frisbees look like they're moving at a more appropriate speed now. You really saved us. Thanks, Chi. It was nothing. I'm glad I was useful. I'll be going now. Finally. To the cafe! You're, you're going alright? Come on, let's play some frisbee first. Alright, why not? Let's go. They ran off. Shibe is going for the frisbee. He makes a running leap. Can he catch it? He hasn't been doing well this season. Dying and all. He's got it! Huh? He's dropped it! That dumb Chibe. Looks like someone's not going to the world championships. What's this? Huss picked the same fucking frisbee off the ground with his mouth. A totally an indirect kiss. The gang is off the charts. Well, 10,000 out of 10. No MFG. <laughs> We don't need this commentary! I can't help it. I'm a Furyoshi, after all. <laughs> Had enough for now? Yeah, let's play again sometime. There's something else I wanted to say, too. Uh, I... Love you! That's not it! I'm really sorry I streamed like that when we first met. I never met anyone who looked like you before, so I was scared. You turned out to be so nice, so I'm really ashamed I acted like that. Huh? I can barely even remember that. Don't worry about it. You can make up for it next time we meet, yeah? I will. With my body, said Shibe. The two homo dogs looked into each other's eyes. Cut it out already! Oh my god. <laughs> I sympathize so much. Okay. Okay, we are officially done. That was the best episode. I'm pretty sure the next one will be finishing the game. So yeah.